Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're going to be talking about eyeglasses today and I'm going to give you a little tip on shopping for your glasses and um, picking a pair that fit you properly. So um, let's get started. Um, what spurred me on to do this video is I was in Costco. I just got had received my um, prescription for new glasses so I went in to go purchase new glasses and um, there was a lady in there who also had lovely gray hair and um, she had tried on she had two pairs um, one of the pairs she had I had my eye on um, on a prior shopping trip and so she was trying them on she said which ones look better these or these, these, or these. And I could tell that the blush pair she had, that's the pair that I had my eye on, look, uh, that she, it sparked joy for her. Those ones seem, she seemed to like those better. I could tell by her reaction when she switched them out. She smiled more when she had those on and she really liked them. And I felt that the other pair actually fit her face, not fit her face better, but the shape and everything was all technically correct. Um, but I could tell that those, uh, those made her happy. So I asked her which ones she liked and she said, I like the blush ones. I said, I do too. Because, and, and I do, I did like the blush ones. In fact, I wanted to get the, those blush ones, but then after I realized what size they were, I went, mm, that's probably not gonna work for me. Cause I asked her, what size are they? And she goes, what do you mean? And I said, that number on the, um, on the lens, what number is that? She goes, oh, I didn't even know that. I said, it's also on the arm of the inside of the glasses. And she said, oh, how did you know that? I said, somebody told me about it. I think it was one of the, Costco reps there at one time had told me about it so and um, it was an important point for me and so I wanted to share it with you and the reason it was important for me knowing that number what number I that fits me properly is because I have a petite face so I have a hard time finding glasses that fit properly um, because my face is a little bit smaller um, right here it's kind of more narrow in here and um, so I was actually trying on glasses um, for a child and because they were a little bit smaller. Those run generally like four, they run 43, 44, 45, 40, 46, somewhere in there. Um, but then when you start to get into 47 and 48, now you're talking about petite, a petite pair of glasses, which are what these are. And these are also Costco glasses and they are actually Karen Kane um, makes them for Costco and um, these are half frames so there there's no frame down here and they kind of got the tortoise shell I don't know if they have these anymore but they do still carry the Karen Kane so if you have a petite face um, you'll want to check her line out because they're petites and um, hers tend to run a little bit smaller which is nice to know um, I had purchased um, frames and lenses at Lens Crafters before, and I actually do get my um, my exam there, and then I take my a prescription over to Costco because it's a better deal. They were charging me like three, four hundred dollars a pair there, and my husband said, "Honey, you could shave off a lot of that Costco into Costco." And I went, "Okay." So there was a time that Costco didn't make a very good polycarbonate lens, but they do now. So, um, so you're not going to um, get any less of a good lens by going there. You may not get them made in an hour, but they do make them in a week. And sometimes I get them as soon as maybe four or five days. It isn't even the full seven days. So um, anyway, so that's something to keep in mind. And they have deals too. So you want to ask them about their deals. Because they have deals that where they you buy one pair and they give you half off the next pair. Which that second pair could be your sunglass pair or could be an actual just a fun pair of glasses. Um, so keep that in mind as well. All right, so I want to show you the difference in sizes. So these are my workhorse glasses, and I always like to have one pair of workhorse glasses that I can wear with just about anything, and they look good. And then I like to have one fun pair. So these I bought. If you follow me on my channel, you probably see me wear these. I love these glasses. These are so great, and I love tortoiseshell. 
Um, but these tortoise shells are slightly different. Instead of having the ivory here in the lighter parts, it has like a blush color, which gives you, um, it's just more feminine, more feminine looking. And look at the nice silver inlay here on the side. And the sides are slightly darker and the insides are light, uh, like a blush pearlescent color. So they don't make you feel so closed in, you know, like you're wearing goggles. Most glasses have that feature now where they're lighter on the inside, especially if you have a pair that are not half frame and they're full frame and they go all the way around your eye. It's kind of nice having that option. They also have the spring hinge on them and these are Kirkland signatures. So they should have these at your Costco. Um, Kirkland Signature, I don't know how often they make new styles, but generally when they have a style, they keep it for a while. So the, these should still be there. And I love these. They're so great. So the petites uh, generally run 47, 48, and 49 are the petite sizes. And then you move up into the 50 and 51, which I consider average, but um, because there's no real rule on it, but I think 50 and 51s are kind of the average. And then they go higher, 50, 52, 53, 54. Um, so, and that means they just get wider and wider. So what you want to do is you want to select a frame that fits your face shape more so in here than anything else. Um, cause I find, and this is just me as always, you should always select a frame that you love and you, you feel you look good in no matter what, um, no matter what, you know, the rules, it doesn't matter. You know, you're, you're going to be, have to wear them every day. So you want a pair that's comfortable and that you feel good in and that look good on you. Um, but you also, you, you know, they should fit right. If, if, if I like to, you know, if I picked a pair of like 53s, they would like come way out here, it would look funny. And, um, the same is if, if I picked um, two small glasses, they would come in here and they would look funny as well. So you want them to fit your face. So you want them to line up here with where your eyes are and how the width of your face at this, at this portion of your face. So let me show you, I'm gonna put on, these are another pair I got at Costco. These are Motos and they're from Japan and they were small size too. I believe these are 48s. So let me show you the number because Costco has the number on the frame on the on the lens itself. But if you're in another um, if you're in another place, you know, if you go to um, a lot of um, eye doctors have their own like store inside their office. If you end up somewhere like that and you still want to know what the size of the frame is, you can still look on the arm of the glasses. Like right here, these are 48s. I'll show you that. Let me zero in on that number right there. See? So that number right there, 48. It also has another number right next to it, 41, but it couldn't be a 41 because that just wouldn't make any sense. This would be really super small. So it's a 48. So these are 48s, these are 49s, and these are 51s. So they technically don't fit me properly, but I really, really love them. So, um, and also um, I might mention that it does matter what the shape of the, of the glasses are. Um, depending on the shape, like round glasses tend to look larger, even if they have a lower number on them. So for whatever uh, that, that may help you with or not. Um, in fact, when I show you a video clip here, when I'm in the store at Costco, I'm going to point to the number on several pairs of glasses. And notice when I point to the ones on the round glasses that some of the round glasses say they're 49s, which means they're petite, but they actually look bigger. So let's do that right now.
what you think about that. So I got to show you how they, now lucky for Costco, they put them right on the lens, but if they don't, like I said, you can always look on the arm of the glasses. So let's take these for example. I just wanna show you the difference so you can, you can see this for yourself. So notice when I put these on, they fit perfectly here. They line right up with my face. They don't exceed my face too far. Notice when I put these on over, do you see that these are slightly bigger? So these are 48s and these are 51s. So not a huge, huge difference, but a little bit. Right here at the peak point. Now these are cat eye glasses. So at the peak point, they, they do stick out further than they do here. And that's probably why I feel okay wearing them, even though they seem like they're two sizes too big. Um, if these were 49s, they would fit me much better. Um, but I love them, so I got them anyways, and um, just I just want to show you that difference. So it's very slight, but it still exceeds my face. See how this those look, and then see how these look. So when you're in Costco, just as a, a, as a tip, um, pick a few pairs that look similar and pick different sizes. Just start with 49, 50, and 51, and 52. Get like two or three pairs, and then try them on and see which ones fit the side of your face um, best, and then you'll know what your number is. And once you have your number, then you know you look at it and you go, oh, 50, 51, that's my number. And then it's easy to shop at that point. And then you can go right to the area. In, a, in fact, I think Costco even has sections where they have the petites like in one section, but people take them off and move them around all the time, so who knows. But it'll just help. It will totally help you because you go, oh, 51s, and then you just won't pick up any other kind. You'll just go, oh, 51s, that's my size, you know and then you can select from those. Now, um, there are the other two um, criteria for a good pair of glasses, and that's, so fits one of them, color is another one, and shape is the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down in my description box for you a few videos that I like that help you, um, that show you how to pick the right shape for your face. Um, there are YouTubers that have better videos than me on that, so I'm just going to leave leave that to th to them and but provide that for you so that you can then add that information to the information I'm telling you about getting the proper size glasses, and then together um, it will give you the full rounded view and you'll be able to shop um, for a great pair of glasses. Um, so let's talk just briefly about color. Um, if you have gray hair, you're going to look great in anything that's pretty much cool toned. Now, what I like about this particular, I, you can't really call this a tortoiseshell because generally tortoiseshell has the ivory here as this other color, but this has a blush color. So these really look great with gray hair. Also, they have a multicolored pair and you may have seen them in that video clip I showed you. Um, where they have blue and brown and it's all mixed together similar like this but it's more of a just collective coloring all put together and I really like those two and I think those look fantastic with gray hair. Blue frames look great with gray hair, P hot pink, pink, um, white, uh, those are difficult. I don't think those would work for everybody but for some they might black, silver, um, gray. Don't forget about gray. Even though you have gray hair, you think, why would I get gray, gla gray framed glasses if I have gray hair? Mm, it looks good, I'm telling you. I've tried on several pair and I've always looked for a pair and wish I could found a pair. And there's different shades of gray too. There's a really light kind of gray and there's a medium gray and a darker smoke gray that's almost not quite a black. So if you like black, but black looks too stern, too harsh on you, Think about a gray thing. Um, and uh, what other colors? Any primary colors, blue, cobalt blue looks great. Oh, you know what would be a really great pair of glasses for you if you have gray hair is a red pair. Red is, is really, really um, stunning with gray hair. 
So I hope that helps. And then also another quick point I want you, wanted to mention, if you decide not to get the transition lenses, that's when they shade um, by themselves when you step out into the sun, which I don't like those um, because they seem to shade when I'm in the shade and I, I want clear lenses at that point. Um, so I always buy crystal clear lenses. Um, but if you are, you're trying to figure out how to, without getting a pair for sunglasses, um, any metal frames you can use clip-ons with. They do have clip-ons for plastic frames, but they're not made very well. I'll just tell you that up front. But I'm going to show you a video right now of me in Walgreens, and I'm looking at some clip-ons that will go on metal frames right nice. So I'm going to show you that right now. Another option for you right there. You can do the Walgreens, and I think they, so what, what are they, were $14.99 there? They had all different kinds. They had ones that were were the um, that umber color, or um, rather than the um, the dark smoke color, if you prefer that. Um, they even showed the um, they had yellow ones too, which was kind of weird. I I don't know who would want those, but um, anyway, so you can think about that if you don't want to go with the transitions and you just want to go with a pair of clip-ons. Say I have clip-ons for these, and I love them, and they seem to work fine for me. So that's what I do so I don't have to have a pair specifically that are sunglasses. But if you want that, that's why Costco has the deal where you buy one, get one half off, you can get the first pair of glasses and then you can um, get the second pair as your sunglasses if you'd like. I always like to get a pair of workhorse uh, pair and then a pair of fun, fun glasses. So that's how I do it, but um, you can do it any way you want. And um, the price is great. And their lenses, in case you don't know, you probably already know this, um, their lenses are scratch resistant and anti-reflective. That's a part of it. They don't charge extra for that. And if you happen to get um, metal frames that have these little nose pads here and the nose pads start to get kind of yellow and funny and dirty, you can always take them back into Costco and in five minutes, they, they'll put on a brand new set for you at no extra charge. So that's bonus bucks there too. All right, so I hope that helps you in selecting out some frames. There's two more points that I wanted to add before I go real quick. And that is you can always buy um, glasses online as well. My husband recently did that with a company and I'm going to cut to a video right now and show you what he got for $20. I think there were $20 for the frames and the lenses. And then for five extra dollars, he got a pair of clip-ons that go on that. So I'm gonna cut to that right now and show you what those are like. These are the glasses that my husband got online, just so you know. And this is from a company called Zini. And they come like this in a plastic case, a really nice plastic case here. And these are the glasses here. They were $20. These are men's glasses, of course, with the nice polycarbonate lenses. And they come with a, um, a glass cleaner cloth right here. And they also came with clip-ons. Now these clip-ons are slightly different than the ones that go around the edges of the glasses. These ones are the ones that go down the center in the middle. What do you think about those? Those are pretty great. There's also one more option that you could um, use and that is um, someone on YouTube actually she had their, her viewers pick her glasses out for her. That's where they send you four or five pair 
four or six pair of frames that you select online and they send you all of them and then you try them on and you select the one that you like the best and send it back you can do that too and that's great too and if I find that video I will post it down in my comment section below all right I think that's all I hope that's helpful for you thank you so much for watching as always and we will catch you next time bye for now